My name is Anna Levesque and I'm the author of Yoga for Paddling and I want to take you through the four most essential poses for paddlers. The first pose is a variation of, of hand to big toe pose and we're doing it with a strap. And this pose is really great for paddlers because we're lying on our backs so that our back stays in alignment, meaning our spine and our hips cannot tilt in one direction or another. The idea is not to hold your toe with your hand, it's really to allow the leg to extend, which provides a nice hamstring stretch. And then it also gives us more freedom to open up the hips, open up the front of the hip and a nice twist. Windshield wiper pose is an awesome pose because it's a passive pose for the iliopsoas muscle. And the iliopsoas muscle runs from our inner thigh across the front of the pelvis and it attaches at our lumbar and thoracic spines. And this muscle, when it gets tight, it gets tight from sitting, so sitting in a kayak, sitting in a canoe. It also gets tight from balancing on our stand-up paddleboard with a little bit of flexion. When this muscle gets, or this group of muscles gets really tight, it tends to pull our pelvis out of alignment and that's what causes a lot of low back discomfort. So this is a wonderful pose for paddlers. The third pose that's really important for paddlers is called, I call it uh, shoulder blade push-ups. Doing the paddling motion, whether it's stand-up paddle boarding, canoeing, or kayaking, the muscles of the chest and the shoulders get really tight compared to the muscles of the upper back, which are actually weaker. And so shoulder blade push-ups really work to strengthen the upper back. And then they also bring the shoulder blades through the full range of motion. Taking the shoulder blades back and squeezing them really helps us to bring our shoulders back into alignment and strengthen our upper back. The fourth pose essential for paddlers is called Spider Cobra. And it's a therapeutic version of Cobra Pose that again targets the upper back. So it works on squeezing the upper back and drawing the heads of the arm bones back. And so this will create a nice uh, stretch across the chest and across the front of the shoulders while strengthening the upper back. And then we keep our foreheads on the floor to get nice length up the neck. Those are my top four poses for paddlers. If you want more, check out my book, Yoga for Paddling, and I'll see you on the water.